All right, we're here in the Weather Center with meteorologist Michael Barron's. Let's talk about this, you know, with conditions that we had today, what exactly led to a pileup like that? Yeah, well, we had what are called whiteout conditions mm -hmm. that developed this afternoon across West Michigan, and that's not something that's entirely uncommon here across the region. In fact, what happens is we get these bands of lake effect snow. You can see those developing on the radar this afternoon where that snow comes down quite heavily, combining with the winds and the daylight. That's where we get into those dangerous conditions. And the reason the snow develops in bands like this is we get the lifting and in between each of those bands where the lifting has come up, creating the snow. We have little areas of high pressure that sink back down and create that transition back and forth between good driving conditions and poor driving conditions. So what exactly comes to play here in the whiteout conditions? Here's the three ingredients that we need. We need the heavy snow, the gusty winds, and of course the daylight conditions out there that all factor together to make driving quite difficult. So let's get down to road level, show you what this looks like. We add the snow in here first. Of course, that reduces visibility somewhat on its own. You factor in the wind on top of that snow. We start blowing the snow around. It's pretty much like doubling the amount of snow in the air out there, sometimes even more so further reducing visibility. Now we factor in sunlight that sort of diffuses out through those ice crystals and it can just completely get rid of the visibility out there when it comes to the roadways and it makes seeing things like a car in front of you quite challenging. We take any of these factors and we amplify one of them or two of them, say the wind or the snowfall, and that can make visibility pretty much down to zero and cars that are traveling in front of you that were previously a safe distance away. If they had to stop, if they had to slow down, they could come very close to you in a short distance of time and you may not see it until it's too late. That's likely what happened over in Ionia today, and it was one of those days where again, like we said, you go from good visibility to poor visibility over and over and over in a very quick short amount of time. You can see that in the pulsing here of the time lapse on the Fremont uh, tower camera this afternoon. We go from sunny conditions to snowy conditions and just generally poor weather all around at times throughout the evening tonight. Even still at this hour, visibility hasn't improved in some spots down to two and a half miles in Holland at this hour, a little bit better in Grand Rapids and Ionia, but at times today visibility was under a half mile and it's just really hard to drive in conditions like that we're not completely out of the woods yet. Winter weather advisories will continue this evening until 2 a.m. We'll tell you what to expect as we head into your Sunday coming up in a bit with your full forecast. All right, Michael, thank you.